Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome back to Prison Architect, the Psych Ward DLC. Now, in the last episode, we accepted some uh, some guys into prison, 12 guys to be precise, and we got Castle here, Frank Castle to be precise. Uh, he's someone to worry about because he's the Punisher apparently, but he's supposed to be someone who's liked. Uh, Henry ba uh, B Bowers, yeah, Bowers. He's a he's a pretty nice guy. It seems like possibly, um, but we do have to worry about little Jesus here. Little Jesus, uh, he's a bit of a pervert and likes to steal cars, so that's something to worry about, I think. <laughs> um, now these, I don't think that I have any way to really sell or not sell uh, wash these yet. So, I'm just going to dump those for now and get them brand new uh, uniforms later. Uh, and that will cost me a little bit of money, but that's whatever. Uh, so now we have the fog of war going on everywhere. So hopefully, we can get cameras up here fairly soon. Uh, now, when I... Right before I started this up, uh, it said I was missing power somewhere. But I'm not sure where. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, also... I am doing these episodes kind of in a batch. So if you've given me a name for the prison yet, uh, I haven't really, I don't know it yet. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not there to, to read that. But uh, it will be named. And if nobody has given me names yet, you should do it right now in the comment section below. I don't even care if you're not even subscribed to this channel and you're just passing through. Throw a name down for this jail. Um, and I'll, I'll uh, think about making it the actual name. Of this jail <laughs> um because it's a it's gonna be a big psych ward so that's uh if that helps you come up with a name anyways so let us check on bureaucracy and do i have okay i have surveillance approved so i can actually start uh installing these around everywhere so uh oh also it's free time right now everybody can just do whatever the heck they want and they're deciding, hey, I just got here, so I'll chill out in my cell, I guess. That's that's cool. That's fine with me. Um, oh, also, I need to hire a few more guys. Um, uh, whoops. Okay, hire staff. I need a few more staff, guys. I can't freaking... Here, we'll just put you right here. I don't care. So, two more guys. How many does that make? Six? Okay, now I'll station... I need station patrols around the place. I need to station surveillance cameras around the place uh, and just get this place more secure uh, as a whole. Okay, so <laughs> a whole. Anyway, surveillance. Um, we got the... Well, we need a CCTV monitor and a phone tap. But before we do that, we're going to actually need a surveillance room. So I'm going to have to actually build that. Um, Alright, so flooring. We'll do more stone flooring here just stretch that out like right around there and then I don't know how big this area needs to be I think it's pretty decent because I need an armory and I need the surveillance room right so hold on let's go oh okay so the demand for tools uh, narcotics and luxuries is all medium weapons is very low so that's good I guess um, and I guess that's gonna pop up every time I decide to switch up uh, the pace of everything. So, I don't want things going on right now um, while I'm doing planning. Not demolition. Planning. Okay. So, we want um, you know, connect into this. So, something like something like that is probably a good surveillance room size. And then the armory needs to be fairly decent sized. Something like that, probably. Yeah. That will probably work, I think. So, and then the door can be like right there. I don't give a crap. All right. So, it wasn't a whole lot to plan. <laughs> I just wanted to know uh, exactly what was going on. And this can be made out of bricks. So it's, it's attached to the brick building. Blam. So, build that. This will be our security area. Nice. Okay. And then what else do I need? Um, I, can, I think I can just go ahead and start placing the cameras now. Uh, and then we'll hook them up later. Okay, so uh, areas of main concern would be um, in here, I believe. 
because we don't want somebody stabbing everybody to death. That would be a problem. Uh, staff room? Don't need it. Uh, we don't need it anywhere in there either. So nothing over there. Okay, just really here. So, at the end of this hallway, we'll attach a camera and it'll monitor everybody. We'll put one in here. Oh wait, hold on, which way is... I think this is the back of it, right here. It won't let me actually put it anywhere. What? Oh, is, oh, because there's benches right there? Okay. So, put it right here then. And that'll just... There. It'll watch you when you sleep. <laughs> okay. Anyways. And then that can be in the common room. And we'll need one, like, at the end of this. This, I suppose. And... <laughs> We could we could monitor them while they shower um, <laughs> Not that I'm overly excited by the idea honestly, but uh, We might as well <laughs> In case a fight breaks out, you know or somebody decides to sneak back here and murder somebody behind there You can't trust these guys. You can't trust them one bit. Okay, uh, and then we can have some surveillance cameras like right here and over here that's fine. Okay. Um, and then we'll always have staff in here, so I don't think I need one in here. Uh, so we'll leave that alone. Um, what else? Anywhere else where I'm missing something? We could do one right here at the end of this hallway. Because we want an idea of what's going on in the prison at all times. Okay. So I think that's good for cameras. And now I want to... Uh, do guard patrols. Oh, well, uh, contact various objects in your prisons together so that they can control each other's behavior. Uh, like what? Like a phone booth? Like every time somebody calls somebody, set off a camera? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure how that works. I've never done that before, so we'll mess around with that later, I guess. Uh, but for right now, where is... Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe it would be in prison running. Um... Contraband, no. Logistics, guard deployment, there we go, this kind of stuff. Okay, so we always want a guard deployed here. And we always want one uh, deployed in here. Um, where else? We could have just an arm, no, I don't have an armed guard. Uh, is logistics, no. Maybe I just stretch it out, is that how that works? No. How do I make it so that they they go on patrol? Here we go. Okay. We want to do a patrol that goes like all the way around. All the way around here. Um, and this can be like one dude who does this. It's, it's low security. So we shouldn't have to worry uh, too much about these guys being crazy. Plus, I have the cameras, which will help. So we'll put one guard on this on this patrol and, and that should be good I think um, is, it, is he on there? okay sweet so we have three posted one on patrol so I have two guys free to do whatever uh, which I think is good do I need do I need one posted in the kitchen? probably um, just in case you know they're like <laughs> a kitchen fight breaks out like hey those were my mashed potatoes. And he's like, shoot, I'll give a f give those were your potatoes. I'm going to eat them. And if you want to stop something, you can come at me, bruh. And then he just pulls out a butter knife. And the other guy's like, whoa, whoa. Chill, man. Chill. It's fine. You can have them. Sheesh. Don't need no paper cuts today. Shit. <laughs> so, uh, oh, no, you're trapped in here. That's my bad. Uh, let us. Wait, wait. No, that's what I wanted. Construction objects. And then we want um, walls and doors, and just a normal staff door for it right here. Okay, I didn't mean to trap you in here, but I also want these to be um, brick wall. There we go. I also want this to be built right here. Okay, cool. And so we'll go into rooms now, and this can be uh, this will be the armory. And we can also get some doggos, which will be awesome. Okay, so there's the, the armory. And then where is... Where is... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We can make a shop somewhere. We'll worry about that later. Security, uh, where they monitor crap. Okay, cool. And then we'll always have, like, 
I'm, I should hire some more. I should hire some more uh, guards. We'll hire two more, and then we'll always have two guys working in here. But first, we need an office desk, um, which we'll set up like right here, I guess. That's fine. Um, chair. And then we need a filing cabinet, which we'll also put like right. Well, let's figure out where this goes first. <laughs> so there's the monitor, and we also want a phone tap, which we can have right there. So the filing cabinet can go right here. Cool. And then if I need another uh, CCTV monitor, I can just barely fit one in right there, it looks like. So sweet. All right, cool. Now for the armory, um, we want to do... Okay, I need a guard locker, weapon rack, and a table. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, so we'll have a couple of these, and then a couple of these. There we go, now I have three guys, three heavy uh, guys that I'll be able to have. And we need a table uh, here also for putting like grenades, and uh, like nuka grenades, you know, and plasma rifles, and a mini gun, and uh, a 10 millimeter pistol with an attachment so that its power is 94. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Alright, cool. And now I just need to wait for this crap to be built so I can wire it all up. Uh, also, uh, they don't have any power there, so I, I'm going to need to do that. And luckily, there's not too much distance that this needs to span, so let's just blam. I think this needs to be hooked up directly. Maybe? We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, Alright, so, that's all good. Uh, I, got my, I got my patrols. Um, oh, I did want to um, station somebody there, so guard deployment, and I always want to have at least one person in here, um, and then we'll have two free to do whatever they need to do, pick up guys, move them around, whatever. And now let's take a look at the actual, like, schedule that, that the prisoners um, go off of. I'm not sure uh, exactly where it is. Okay, there it is. It's in reports. It's the regime. Uh, Alright, so for me, minimum security, they sleep uh, all the way from 11 o'clock to 6 o'clock, which is fine. And then they're locked up, and they shower, lock up again, free time, lock up, lock up, eat, eat. Okay, some of this is going to need to change, because I don't really like um, the way that is set up. So let's change this uh, to... They shower first thing in the morning, and then they have to wait until afternoon to eat. That seems kind of crazy. Uh, so they'll shower, and then they'll go um, straight to, where is it, eat. Uh, so they'll eat for two hours. And then they got free time, um, and then freaking free time again. So we'll give them two hours free time, and then it's lock up for a bit. Cause you know they're, you're freaking they're in jail. They need to they need to be locked up. So we'll have three hours of that, and then they can have yard time, uh, and then be locked up again. Uh, they don't need that much free time, right? So another three hours. Then they go eat, and then lock up and sleep. Uh, is that good? I guess we'll see. Uh, also, I never put toilets out here like I meant to, um, so let's do that real fast. Jeez, flipping through all these things. There's a lot. Okay, so we can have like, I don't know. We'll have two toilets out here, and they can just enjoy themselves. Wait, hold on a second. What was that? I can place trees. Taking steps against global warming is all of our responsibility. <laughs> I think that's for the, uh, I think that's for the wood Thing where they chop down a bunch of trees and sell that off which actually wouldn't be a bad way uh, to create some income I wouldn't mind that um, but I'd need some guys who work out uh, outside first uh, alright so those are gonna need water don't know where the nearest pipe is it's quite some distance away so let us get this pipe uh, over here whoop there we go keep it away from the prisoners uh, keep it away keep it away keep it away now and now, whoop, back to water supply. Small pipes! Crap, where's the toilets? Right there. Nope, that's the wrong- No! I'll check on the prisoners in a second. Some areas of the prison are without power. Uh, where? 
uh, connect all objects. What? Where? Where is without power? Oh, is it over here? I think that technically counts. Okay, so we'll build that there. Um, okay, I think we're good now. And I might as well just do this. Why? Just because that's darker than this area. That's why. Don't ask me questions. Don't you question me. Okay, so this does need power. So that... Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, so that's all good. And they're building the pipes right now. Uh, wait, did I ever put the small pipes down? No. I got distracted by the freaking stupid crap. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this will go there. All the way there. Bam. Okay, so now they even have toilets. So great. It's lockup time. Uh, what are their needs? Is what I'm wondering. Like, what's up, Waters? How you doing, bruh? Okay, cell quality level four below their entitlement. What? Hey, wait a second. They're missing their bookshelves. Where, where'd that go? I, I know I, I said to put one in. Okay, I'll, I'll fix this. Don't you guys worry. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get you guys some bookshelves. Apparently five is like the average for entitlement. Um, so we're pretty good on that. There, I'll give you guys some bookshelves. You guys can chill out. Let's look at our prisoners. Um, so is it going to show me like how they're feeling at all? Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay, I think that's just... Okay, never mind. But what's going on, little Jesus? How you doing? Uh, you been up to anything? Doing okay? This shows how Bath has been spending their 0.4 days in your prison. Mood looks pretty positive. Condition's pretty good. Um, they've been spending a decent amount in lockdown, I guess. Uh, regime. Uh, okay, I think it's just... I think it's going to take a little bit for that to become actually, like, accurate. Uh, estimated reoffending chance, 18%. Wow. Well, we'll see about that, bro. We'll see about that, little Jesus. Wait, what was that in the in corner? Exercise. Oh, that shows their needs. Okay. Uh, you want hygiene and recreation. Oh, yeah, hygiene. And it's going to start getting pretty bad uh, with our cleaning up thing. So I'm, I definitely uh, want to get to work on that. But before I do that, uh, wait, what? Oh, the pipes haven't been laid yet. Okay, let's connect all of this um, up to the cameras because uh, I'm getting tired of seeing all these bleepy little red spots. And then as soon as I do that, uh, we'll get to work on uh, building a cleaning up area. And the guys will be all like, man. It sure is nice now that we can actually, you know, wear clean clothes. And, like, Jimmy will be over there. Oh, sorry, not Jimmy. Walters. Waters? Whatever. <laughs> I, I'm bad with names. It's going to take me a little bit to remember all their names, okay? But they'll be like, yeah, man, tell me about it. That one shirt I was wearing, I had to use it for toilet paper the other day. And let me tell you, that stunk. And be like, shit, you wore that? And after you used it for toilet paper? They'll be like, well, I didn't have a choice, man. It's like, you couldn't have just used, like, paper towels for toilet paper or something? It's like, shit, I didn't really think about that. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of conversations they'll have. Trust me. <laughs> that's definitely something they'd say. <laughs> Anyways, little Jesus is just over there shaking his head. Just like, you guys, a bunch of nutballs. Okay, I, I'm gonna slice you all up with my samurai sword. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, wasn't, uh, Ethan Little Jesus Bath, the guy who was the samurai wielding, yeah, wearing a tailored suit. Okay, no, he's, he's the bad guy, right? He's the, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's a psychopath millionaire. Never mind, who is the guy, uh, wielding a samurai sword and, uh, it wasn't Castle. Uh, Frank Castle's the really mean guy. Um, was it Harm? I think so. Yeah, it was Harm Apey. Appy? Still don't know how to pronounce your name. 21 years old. He's the pervert who stole a car. That's right. <laughs> I got my eye on you, Harm Keetles. We'll just call him. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Hold it. Looked like he had a needle. Go ch check him out. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Search him. Search. Uh, wait, hold on. How do I... Options. 
Oops, uh, change, no, I just need to search prisoner. Yes, I wish to search this guy. Because this, this guy, he just had a needle. Well, he's not happy about that. Did you get anything? Yes! He had narcotics on him! What the heck, Keedles? You freaking, you druggy pervert! I gotta keep an eye on these guys. Oh crap. Where did he even get the drugs? Where even? Oh man. Well, we caught our first guy. Oh, 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 also, um, I wanna change uh, what defines as, uh, like, why they deserve to be in solitary. Where is that? Is it policy? I think so. Okay, so uh, destroying prison property, no search, but like, no, no. I want to always search these guys for crap. So, okay, well, well, wait, what? How do I? Okay, there we go. I just flipped through. So I, I'll just search uh, prisoner and then punishment. Um, we'll do, yeah, we'll do lockdown. That's like, nah, that's not good for you to do. You go in there for three hours, okay? Escape attempt. Okay, we're searching your prison, or yeah, we're searching your cell and the person, okay? You go straight to solitary, and that's a bad thing you did, so you get to stay in there for eight hours, okay? Attacking other prisoners. Man, why are all these no search? Uh, I'll search both of these th uh, things, and you can just be um, solitary, just like in the movies. That's, that's more common thing. We'll do three hours. Attacking staff. That's a big no-no. We'll search uh, just you, I guess. And then you're definitely going in solitary. And you get four hours. Uh, causing serious injury. Uh, again, we'll search you. Solitary, no. Uh, nah, we'll do, we'll do solitary. And four hours is good. Uh, being intoxicated. What the frick. We have to search you and your cell. And we're putting you on lockdown. So you can't do this crap no more uh, in two and a half hours because I'm not too worried about that. Killing someone. Okay, we'll search everything. You go to solitary and you go there for eight hours because that's just really not okay. Uh, we'll search everything. If you have a weapon, you go straight to solitary and uh, go there for four hours. Possessing tools, not as serious. We'll do three hours, but we're also going to search everything. And you, you could just be in lockdown. For that um that's not too bad if you just possess tools um right or maybe they should go in solitary yeah we'll go in solitary why not why not <laughs> uh possessing drugs that's a big no-no you can search everything we'll make sure you don't have any more and we'll put you in there for five hours no drugs possessing luxuries not a big deal i don't really care if you have luxuries uh everybody's gotta you know um do the prison um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Luxuries, whatever. You got to have currency in prison. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, we'll search everything and you could just go in there for one hour because that's not a big deal. Uh, okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe a couple things can be changed later, but I'll worry about that later. <laughs> so right now we'll do grants and, uh, what's prison? Maintenance, general upkeep and maintenance of the prison and its grounds are important for both the security and safety of all staff and inmates. Okay, so I would need to have a foreman have it. I'll hire at least two janitors, have them. Hire a gardener, don't have them yet. Unlock groundskeeping, unlock. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so. It says I haven't done any of this yet. Which I've hired a foreman already. So I don't know why it's being weird. But I do need to hire a garden. And I do need to unlock maintenance, I think. So, oh wait, hold on. There we go, it updated because everything was passed. So, I just need to hire a gardener then. Okay, um, well, hire staff. And do I have, oh, I do. I can have one gardener. There we go, bam! Easy money. Uh, okay, grants. Uh, I really should do the three and one before I uh, unlock anything else. That's my bad. Uh, where is that? Um, unlock more grants. Oh, wait, that was already a thing. Okay. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs>
Security procedure certification. A common pitfall at new prisons are security lapses due to the inexperience of the staff uh, with the facility. Ensure we have no early mishaps that might hurt our record in the future by increasing security to an acceptable level. Okay, so I need to assign all that, blah, blah, blah. I'll take it. Okay, what am I missing? Assign three guards to patrol routes and hire ten guards. Okay, uh, and that one we can do later. Staff uh, well-being. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. Ensure none of your staff are exhausted and build a staff room. Okay, so that's another thing uh, I can do um, later. Long-term investment. We might as well. Uh, the reform through education we could do later. Visitation rights. Uh, I've already done this, right? Oh, I can't accept more grants. Okay, so for right now, let's just hire more guards and then assign one of them to this patrol right uh route okay so besides my inability to speak properly let us go all the way over here and hire like what two more guys so that's one of the things necessary so that's four guys how many did needed to be free we'll just hire two more guys just in case uh apparently i just completed a grant okay i don't know to what or how or whatever um is it prison running no it's it's reports grants what i complete uh staff well-being oh okay okay cool sweet okay i did that one <laughs> and now i need to assign a guard to a patrol route and we'll complete another one so uh we will assign another guard uh to this right there blam and then that's another grant completed look at this we're just completing grants left and right and everything's going pretty well uh, with my with my prisoners and with everything nothing crazy's happened yet everybody's really happy look at that freaking bath over here we got him happy which is good we got Choi over here he's a really bad egg uh, you are in big ass trouble for freaking narcotics dude why'd you bring those in here you, you little a-hole behave yourself Other than that Everybody's fine. Everybody's doing great. Just gotta make sure I keep my eye on everybody. I need to use my own eyeballs as the thing. Uh, <laughs> to make sure everything's going A-OK. -okay. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna work on is uh, bureaucracy. And let us do... Where is... Uh... Eh, eh, no, stop doing that. Okay, we can have doggies, which is cool. Guard towers and we'll love having... Uh, we'll do we'll do all this crap later uh, right now. I'm focusing on uh, Do I already have? Oh, okay, I think I already have the, the laundry uh, Thing built or not built but ready wait how much does it cost? It says purchase, but it doesn't tell me a price Okay, we're gonna hit X and see what happens Okay, so it would take uh, 80 grand which I can technically afford right now. So that's great. So let's try to keep my money up. Um, I need to bring more guys in because my income is low. God dang it. <laughs> it's so I need to I need to come up with a way to bring more money in. Uh, that's not necessarily having a lot of prisoners. So we'll work on that also. All in the next em episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh wait, he got released. Where'd he go? Did he go back to his, his cell? There you are. All right, so our big troublemaker, no wonder why. His name is Harm, and uh, his head's all cock, and we're watching him poo right now. So that's great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all the time I have for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, name the prison if you haven't put that in the comment section below uh, yet. Yeah. And as always, remember to keep the flame alive.